Song number nine is a song called Borrowed Time, and like a lot of bands, when they're putting together a record, they kind of sit back and go, okay, what, what's kind of missing from this record? You know, we need to think about, you know, a well-balanced record. I mean, hey, we got 12 ballads, okay, I don't think we need any more ballads. So I kind of sat back at one point and said, okay, what we kind of need is kind of heavy and driving, not super up-tempo, but it's just kind of heavy and driving to really uh, kind of round out the record. So I think I recorded a bunch of different grooves at 92 beats per minute or something like that, nice and solid. And the guys took them and we kind of worked up borrowed time. And the thing that's really cool about it is when you're playing at 92, you get a really nice kind of halftime groove, but when you double time it, it creates a really up-tempo, you know, really feel-good kind of chorus, and that's what we did. So the song has super dynamics in it. It's kind of a down and dirty, trudging along kind of thing, and then it hits, hits the chorus. And again, Ray did an amazing job with lyrics and melody lines and the harmonies. And it's just really, really, really solid, solid song. And Viv has this kind of cool sound effect in the beginning that he came up with. So, you know, very, very, very cool song. Song number 10 is a song called Sometimes. And this kind of has, you know, it's kind of, I don't know if you want to call it ballad -y. It has a really nice kind of Steve Gadd, Jeff Beccaro kind of soft groove. I played it with multi rods. It's just trying to create the motion in the background. And again, Ray did an amazing job with the vocals. The bass is incredible on this. You know, all the instrumentation is great. This also has a great lead on it that I really, really, really like. Um, it's kind of a smooth song just to kind of round out the record a little bit, not having every song repetitive, but definitely using different styles. Um, has a really cool section in the middle that, that slams pretty good. It comes out of nowhere. So I thought that was a really, really cool idea. The last song on the record, called The Silence Broken, is, is probably the, like, like I jokingly say, it's the feel-good hit of the summer. It's, it's a really cool groove. I'm using the electronic drums and the real drums and playing it all together. And it's just kind of, kind of has that one, da dun da dun da dun da dun You know, it's just that you, you can't help but grab it. And it's, and it's not a lot of parts. We're not going left and right. We're not getting crazy. It definitely looks to me like an arena rock song, just to kind of get the people off their feet. And just it's kind of that feel-good song. You know, and the lyrics are great, and it's definitely singing to the people that I know that they're going to get. And I could definitely see Ray selling this one in a major way. So there it is, A through Z, debut album. <laughs>